Hello everyone, I'm Ian from Creative Visuals and in today's video I'm going to be going over how to transfer photos and videos straight from your Sony camera to an iOS device, may that be an iPhone or iPad. Now I'm going to be showing you two methods in this video. The first one is easy and wireless and the second one requires a dongle but it's better for video files. So with all that out of the way, if you want to transfer your photos and videos from your Sony camera, may this be an A6000, 26500 or an A7 or A9, stay tuned and let's get right into this video. Okay, so as I mentioned, there are two methods that I'm going to be showing you, the first of which I think is much better for JPEGs and a few RAW files, just better for doing pictures in general as it's completely wireless and still generally quick. Now the second method is actually requiring a dongle, which I will have linked in the description as this is the cheapest one that works really well that I have found. So I, like I said, I will link it up in the description because you will need it if you're going to be transferring videos. But if you just want to transfer some photos, this is how you'll do it. And like I said, if you're going to do videos, go to this timestamp right here. And that's when we're going to start on method two using the dongle. So with that out of the way, let's get right into method one using the app. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go into your iOS device. As you can see, I have my iPad here. If we just get it started, use some touch ID. We go in, you will see in the description a link to the Play Memories app. Now, once you have downloaded it, don't worry, it is safe. You go into it and it's going to ask you some questions. It's not asking me as I have already done it. Just answer Sony sincerely. This is going to ask if you're a photographer, what you like to shoot, all that kind of stuff. But once you're in, it's going to bring you to this screen. And once you're there, you can take a break from that and go onto your camera. You're just going to turn it on. Make sure that your wireless settings are on and then go to the little triangle. Now, once you're in here, you're going to choose the photo that you want or if you want multiple, uh, I will show you how to do that in a sec. But anyways, you're going to want to choose the photo or area of photos that you want and then press this little FN for function. It's going to bring up send to smartphone. It's going to give you the option for this image, all images on this date or multiple images. Now they're pretty self-explanatory. This image will just send this one. All images on this date will send all from, well, the date that one was taken and multiple images. You can go in and select them individually. But for the sake of time in this tutorial, I would just choose this image. It's going to go to Wi-Fi standby and then it's going to come up with this screen. So it's going to give you the SSID as well as a QR code to scan. Now if I just set this down here and we head on back over to the iPad, there's a thing here that says scan QR code of the camera. I'm going to click that, press OK, and it's going to bring up the camera. So from here we can just align that right like so. It's going to give us the option to join the network. And once we have done so, it is going to send the photo straight from my camera onto here, items copied. And now if we go into images, you can see there is the image straight from the camera onto my iPad. Now just a quick tip for this before I go into the second method for video and doing it not wirelessly. If you do go into settings here, you can go to copy image size and choose either two megapixels, VGA or original. So then you have an idea of how big the file size is and how much resolution you want these photos to be transferring in depending on the storage of your device and your usage case scenario for the photo. Now you can't transfer video this way so that is what method two is going to be. Okay so now that we've gone over method one of using the Play Memories app to transfer smaller files, I'm not going to show you how to do video, may it be 4K or 1080p as well as lots of RAW and JPEG photos. So as you can see here, I do have the Sigma 30mm f1.4 on my A6500, just so I can get an example shot. So I will just show you here, we are shooting in 4K at 24 frames per second. I'll just press record here, and just, we'll just look around a bit, show you things, show you the setup, there's, there's the light, and I don't know what we can see there, but just to show you guys that this does work. So there is the video, it is now on the card. And now if you want to transfer this to your iOS device, you're going to want to go into settings and change a few things before we get started. So you're going to want to go up to the top row and go all the way over to the setup, the toolbox icon, move over to page four. In here, we're going to want to change USB connection. It'll probably be on auto if you have not touched this. You're going to want to bring it all the way down to MTP. Go to USB LUN setting and change it from probably what it is on right now, which is multi down to single. 
move over to page five and go to USB power supply and just make sure that it's off because if it is on, it's gonna to try to suck power out of the iPad or the iPhone and it's gonna give an error. So try to make sure that stays off. Now with all that out of the way, we are ready to connect it to the iPad. So what you're going to need is one of these. This is a dongle I bought on Amazon for around $14. It's basically just a lightning to USB 3 uh, cable, I guess. And the other thing that you're going to want to have is a micro USB cable. Now this is sometimes pretty important. Uh, having the original Sony cable that came with your camera, sometimes if you use third party ones, it just doesn't work for some reason. I don't know what the issue is, but just if it's not working for you, if it's not coming up, if nothing's happening, just consider that it could be the cable that is the issue. So try to use your genuine Sony cable that came with your camera. That's all we're gonna need. So you're just gonna wanna connect the micro USB cable to the dongle. If I can get it here. Oh, wow, there we got it. Connect the lightning into your iOS device and connect the micro USB side straight into your camera. Boom. And just like that, we're gonna turn on our iOS device so we can see what is going on. We have a little reading here, USB charger. This, this accessory requires too much power. So that is the reading that you will sometimes get as an error just because it doesn't know what's going on. But basically, a lot, most of the time, if we just simply turn on our camera, it will open up the Photos app and give us an option to import. So as you can see, there is the video that we just took and the test one I did before. So I'm just gonna click import all here in the corner and it's going to start importing the videos straight to my iPad from the camera. So you can see the camera just says USB mode MTP. So I'm just gonna let this load here and then I will get back to show you it once it is on my iPad. Okay, so that was short lived. As you can see, it is already done. So if we go back to my photos and all the way to the bottom here, you can see there's the video that I just took before. As you can see here, turn it up a bit so you can hear. Things, show you the setup, there's, there's the light. So as you can see, just like that, it worked. It's 4K, you can zoom in and you have all your quality. It is a 4K file straight on your iOS device from your camera. So those are the two methods I use to transfer my Sony files from my camera to my iOS device. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider leaving a like, maybe even subscribing, hitting that bell icon. And if you have any video ideas, any recommendations, any feedback, feel free to leave it down in the comments below and I would love to have a chat about it. Thank you guys for watching. Take care and I will talk to you in the next video.